Okay. Um, well, let me tell you a little bit about sort of my day-to-day -day job uh, to give you a bit of a background. Uh, I'm a lighting designer and it all started out with this chandelier here. Um, this is a design by Ron Arad, uh, a crystal chandelier that you can send text messages to. And uh, I built this thing in 2004 and it kind of launched me into this world of the high design, uh, the kind of Milan Salone del Mobile. Uh, and this is really where I've worked ever since uh, that time. Uh, I had uh, initially uh, mostly other designers to kind of realize their dreams. My background is in engineering, so I helped uh, people like uh, Fredrickson Stoller to build a chandelier that kind of explodes and kind of comes back to its uh, original shape. Uh, this is an Andre Putman design that was uh, commissioned by a, a private client that went into an amazing uh, house in, in Brussels. Uh, now, more recently, I, I do my own projects, I do my own designs. This is uh, a design I did for Audi that was shown in Milan uh, about two years ago, and then again in Basel. And, uh, well, I work a lot with LEDs, and, uh, but this is not really what I want to talk to you about uh, tonight. Uh, it's something a little bit of a, like a side topic, something that I'm actually very passionate about. Uh, so let's go back to these pictures and have a look. Now, this was the beginning, so I took pictures of the, of the pieces and they look pretty normal, you know, something you might see in a magazine. But then I kind of found out, actually, you can like, mess about a bit with the camera and, uh, and do things like, well, make it look as if it's moving. Uh, also interesting about this photograph is the colors you get. Uh, this chandelier was only illuminated by a big white spotlight, but all of a sudden you get all these colors uh, from the light breaking in the crystals. Uh, here another kind of attempt, uh, I, I quite like it sometimes to make things look, uh, well you can still see the shape of the chandelier, but uh, you have to hold the camera for, for a certain period of time and at the very last kind of fraction of a second kind of pull it away. Uh, so I take like hundreds of pictures to get the one that's perfectly right. Uh, here that's another similar attempt. Uh, uh, you get quite nice quality of lines um, around these images. Sometimes they look completely uh, abstract. You don't know at all what this is. Uh, this was actually a dress I made for Hussein Shalayan. Uh, he did a very famous uh, uh, fashion show with uh, moving dresses. Uh, we made the very first uh, video dress. Uh, it's actually being shown at the Victoria and Albert Museum right now in an exhibition. You should, uh, the opening is tonight and I can't be there because I wanted to be here with you. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> And, uh, well, sometimes the photographs almost look like as if it's a fabric, you know, it's something, uh, this was uh, just a very simple LED display, like with just white <laughs> LEDs. Uh, uh, interestingly, you can almost recognize words that are being displayed on that. Uh, this was uh, an installation uh, of uh, Marcel Wanders. Uh, he designed some glass flowers um, for Floss, an Italian uh, lighting company. Uh, so you get like really beautiful kind of traces. Uh, some <coughs> also, interestingly, if you have a look, uh, you can see how the light is being sort of pulsated. Because LEDs, you don't just switch them on or dim them. You actually switch them on and off very, very rapidly and the eye can't perceive it. But in the photographs, then all of a sudden you get these effects uh, that makes it very, very special. Uh, here I'm wearing a jacket uh, that I made for Bono uh, for the 360 tour. Uh, it had 200 lasers built into it. But what's really nice is when you start spinning, then all of a sudden it becomes a whole like, shape of its own. And you also see the traces of the lasers on the walls. <laughs> now, so, you know, initially I, I made these projects uh, and, uh, and then I started taking pictures of these projects and, and see to see what it looks like. But then I thought, well, how about I actually make objects to achieve like, like very particular effects in the photography or like in the perception of the eye? Uh, so the very first project I thought like, well, let's start really simple. What about I just use one LED? What can I do with one LED? Uh, and at the time I made this uh, bicycle, it was a, a Christmas present for my girlfriend. And uh, I thought like, hmm, you know, one LED in the wheel, actually when you switch it on and off in the right positions, then you can draw a smiley face. Uh, so, yeah, this, this was the Photoshop. Uh, I actually, I made a a little like limited edition and it went to a charity event and they sold it off an auction but uh, this is an actual photograph so uh, it really does work uh, so I made like really nice little objects uh, and uh, put them in a nice box and then it went for it went for two thousand pounds I couldn't believe it for like a single LED uh, <laughs> right <coughs> Okay, with one LED you can do smiley faces, but not much more. Uh, when you use seven LEDs, and this is not my inven invention, I have to add, uh, other people have done 
played with these effects and, and if you search on the internet for POV then you find loads and loads of interesting projects. Uh, it's just I like to give it a little bit of a twist, like a little bit of design or like something a bit more elegant. Uh, so I made uh, a piece of jewelry for Floss, again for this lighting company. Uh, and uh, the jewelry was designed only in, a, in an electronic CAD system. So if there's any electronic engineers, they will sort of recognize how this translates into that. But so basically, the, the circuit board was the object, the, the, the piece of jewelry. And then you can start drawing, or you can write text like this. Uh, and then if you draw in space, then uh, well you can have a little bit of fun. And this is very difficult. It took me about 50 attempts to get this right. Uh, this is supposed to be one of Philip Stark's uh, sort of classic light designs because he likes to play with these uh, lampshades uh, because he's uh, Floss's kind of main designer. So I thought I, I play a bit with this uh, formal language uh, or here just like a, a light bulb. <laughs> now, uh, seven LEDs to text. What if we use more LEDs? I mean, the world like opens up uh, the possibilities. Uh, we get a private jet for uh, to to get transported to do a new project. Uh, we get to uh, work with like proper movie stars. Uh, this is Selena Lo, like a Hong Kong uh, movie star and martial art uh, expert. Uh, and uh, I got to work with a whole host of like really amazing martial artists. So we went to Beijing, we got 14 of the world's best martial artists and they do weapons kung fu, uh, uh, wushu. So I designed some weapons for them. And they looked like this. <laughs> <coughs> and now what happens is very interesting. Uh, we, we designed some clothing as well. The, this is where the martial arts comes in. Uh, you were warned. Uh, and then we, well, we did a whole choreographed show and it was amazing. Uh, the interesting thing is it works uh, both for the naked eye so you can do a live show and it looks amazing because, uh, because of the persistence of vision you can see these graphic designs in mid-air when they perform. But then in photography uh, the, the uh, impression lasts so uh, you get to really enjoy it here in these uh, shots. Um, this was uh, uh, the launch of a new uh, prototype of Mercedes-Benz during the Beijing Motor Show. Uh, so we had these uh, 14 guys to do this choreographed show all around this amazing motor vehicle. Uh. Now I made some interesting friends in the process. Uh, these are some uh, like amazing stuntmen uh, based in the UK, uh, Adam and Errol. Uh, we got to travel around together and uh, well, if we don't work and just have, have a laugh, then this is the kind of photography that comes out at times. Uh, this was on top of our hotel in Barcelona uh, for, uh, for a recent project. So well, the photography part is very interesting because the impression lasts in the photographs, right? Uh, you do a long exposure and you get a martial artist to do ama amazing moves with a sword and you get these beautiful effects. And, uh, and now I thought, wouldn't it be great if it wasn't just 2D, but if you could really see the three-dimensionality of it? Uh, and so I thought like, uh, you know the very famous scene in The Matrix where Keanu Reeves kind of ducks away from the bullet, right? And everything stops and the camera moves around it. Now the way that they filmed this was that they used about 120 cameras and they shot this scene with all those cameras at the same time. I thought like, well, 120 cameras is maybe pushing it a bit, but what about 50, you know? <laughs> Let, let's try to get 50 cameras. I called up Olympus and said like, oh, by the way, can I have 50 cameras? And they're like, yeah, sure, where can we deliver them? And all of a sudden, <laughs> I found myself uh, unpacking a massive box, uh, this big flight case with these 50 cameras. And so we put them up in like a semicircle uh, and started to do long exposures with that. Uh, so here is, is Adam again doing some performing uh, arts. Uh, now unfortunately, we can't really show you the video footage of this, but I will point you to a place where you can see that uh, later on, so you can actually see the motion. Uh, so again, we were showing off a new Mercedes model here, the CLS, uh, and uh, we, we did some experimentation. We had new weapons. Uh, we put some like CLS logo into the, the graphic designs. Uh, and uh, here we've got Errol. This is one of my favorite shots from that, uh, from that whole session. Now, I, I work for various artists once in a while. Uh, I did some work for the Black Eyed Peas and uh, we thought like, well, well how, how about we try that for them? And I made some, a jacket with 
like a strip of LEDs that would do the same effect. And this is Will I Am's little avatar logo. But uh, in the end, we never used that. Uh, different projects came about. But uh, Dom Perignon, uh, we did do a project. So we designed some swords that would do Dom Perignon logos and also in the color. Uh, they were launching a bottle with a luminous label, so it, it lights up. And now the label uses uh, electroluminescence. Uh, I don't know if you guys know about this. It's like a sheet that lights up. Uh, it's based on a phosphor, so the light looks very much like a, um, well, like a green neon light. Yeah? Uh, LEDs on the other side, they make very, very pure light. So I thought uh, to reproduce the correct light, I'd work with white LEDs and put like a gel. So we got the right Dom Perignon. Uh, light. And then uh, I still had these cameras sitting in my studio and one day I got a phone call from Ellie Golding. She's, I don't know if she's known here. Do you know her? She's an English songwriter, singer. You do? Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> anyway, in the UK she's quite big. So she was doing a, a video for a new song and it was called Lights. So I gave her the sword and I programmed it with some sort of icons that reflected her, her lyrics. Uh, and this is what you actually can see on the internet. If you look for her video, Ellie Golding Lights, then you can see the work of uh, and the three-dimensionality of what I'm describing. Uh, the camera is kind of running around her uh, and you see this whole scene kind of turning in three dimensions. Uh, she was very good with the sword as well, actually. She, she was performing really well. Uh, uh, we got some almost more beautiful graphics out of her performance than the real martial artists. <laughs> Um, I was invited to uh, do a workshop in Boisboucher. Boisboucher is a magic place in the west of France uh, and uh, people go there just to do design and art workshops and uh, some of the world's best uh, designers and uh, architects uh, teach workshops there. Uh, so while we were there we were also messing about with some photography. So here we used uh, loads of LED toys uh, that, that are made by a friend of mine in a company called Active People in Switzerland. So, and uh, we designed kind of little light staffs and to create these kind of star-shaped uh, effects. Uh, and then there was the castle, and the castle houses bats. Uh, so I thought like, well, what better motive to use than the bats? So here I show you just a few photographs uh, with this bat motive. <coughs> There's actually me doing some kind of performance inside the castle in the roof structure, and it, it was just such a magic place. So I really like this idea of actually using like very interesting backdrops in this photography uh, and there was some more opportunity for that. Uh, so when we went to Barcelona, me and Adam and uh, an another bunch of guys, we were working for a beer brand called Moritz. And that in itself was a weird experience because I walk in the place and it looks like it's all branded for me. Um, <laughs> But uh, anyway, uh, Jean Nouvel has just redesigned like a, a gastro pub for them and it's an absolutely amazing space. And this used to be their brewery. And in the brewery, in the basement, they had these tanks, like beer tanks. Uh, and uh, now this is where we are. Uh, the walls have this amazing texture because the, the beer was stored in there for years and years. So it's so all these like crazy um, uh, concrete, uh, concrete uh, uh, spaces uh, with this amazing texture. And, and we were working on a fashion show. So you can see here some of the models. Um, this is sort of the catacombs of the Moritz Brewery in Barcelona. Now, what's the future of this? This is a, a topic that's uh, sort of interesting me and uh, it's sort of like an ongoing investigation. So once in a while I try to do something new. Uh, so here we've designed a new sword and uh, it's got a very, very high resolution. The LEDs are much closer together and they do full color and they, can they change very rapidly. So we can do sort of very high-end uh, graphic design. This is, uh, this is very new. We haven't really tried it very much. There's just a few test shots that I wanted to share with you. Uh, this again is in, in the Moritz Brewery and uh, you can see just some color fades and what that looks like. Uh, so it's a very, very different uh, kind of uh, look and feel to it. And uh, here we did some uh, tests with some uh, of my new martial arts friends, so they're amazing. Uh, and uh, that's sort of a bit the future that I see for this, uh, uh, to bring the people into the images. Uh, this photographically is not perfect, I know, but I just like the composition and uh, uh, how this all turns out to be in the perfect spaces. Um, but yeah, this is uh, my little hobby and uh, thank you very much for listening. <laughs> <laughs>